Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, I've really been needing to change out Elodie's little like armoire that we have for her. It has all of her summer clothes in it. As of now, she's grown out of a lot of it and it's getting chilly here. Like I can't even believe it, but it's towards the end of September, middle to end, and October is right around the corner and it's getting chilly. So I've been reaching in this bin a lot for Elle and I have a bin of clothes that I bought for her this fall and I've gone a little bit overboard so I wanted to just do like a little girl toddler haul with you guys I got stuff from Walmart H&M Target I think that's kind of like the bulk of it so very 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 affordable I may have a few things in here from like Old Navy but yeah everything is super affordable I will link absolutely everything I can down below and then I'm gonna like reorganize her armoire and stuff and try to figure out what fits what doesn't and just refresh her closet and get it ready for fall so I don't have to keep getting her dressed out of this bin. This bin, this bin. The only way I can justify buying her all of this stuff um, was if I filmed a video. So here I am. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through and organize or just separate everything based on where it was purchased from. So I'm going to make different piles. So <laughs> let's just get started. going to unbutton my pants. I have a bodysuit on so there's nothing to see but I cannot sit in this. Is this even like, is this even reasonable to film a video like this? I feel like maybe I should have worn leggings. Okay so I want to jump right in. I will break it up in the description bar as well based on where I purchased it. So there will be a section of Old Navy, there will be a section of Walmart, H&M, Target. Okay, starting off with Old Navy, I recently got her this little set. So these are just like little ribbed leggings, super soft, cozy. They have like the little um, lettuce trim. Is it lettuce or lattice? I always say that wrong. And I got these in a, I believe I got them in a 3T. She's got longer legs. Um, so with leggings, I always just roll them at the top if they're a little bit big, but really nice quality. They had these sets in a few different colors, um, but I just loved this pink color. So this is like... Not a shirt, but it's kind of like a terry material, a little half zip. Again, I sized up to a 3T, so it would be a little bit oversized for her. She just turned two in June, and she's pretty true to size. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit oversized on her. The next thing I grabbed for her from Old Navy is this sweater. So this is actually a size extra small five. So this is like from the kids section, not the baby section or the toddler section. But I thought this would be so cute, like super oversized on her with leggings and boots or even oversized with biker shorts and boots. I thought this would just be absolutely adorable. So I already like rolled the sleeve. That's how I plan to roll it on her. Loved the color, super soft and cozy. And then I also grabbed these leggings. Actually it would look really cute with that sweater, but Old Navy just has, I feel like good toddler leggings are usually like five bucks and I usually size up so that they get more wear out of them. So I got two pairs of those. I also got the gray and like I said, they're just, they're just good leggings and they're long. They have the length that she needs. Um, also at Old Navy, I grabbed some little toddler underwear. So I got these in a two to three T. She's been kind of curious about underwear again. So a little background story with her and potty training. She was like showing a lot of interest at like, I don't even know, far before she turned two, maybe 18 months old. And she would go on the potty. She actually was like going on the potty multiple times at school. Oof, I got a fuzz on my face. And then she kind of started to slow up a little bit because I feel like our life kind of like the pace picked up and then Kyle deployed. And after Kyle deployed, she has not looked at the potty once. And I know that that's like one of the number one regressions that you can see in kids when there is like a big uh, family change. Removing a very involved parent um, 
it's very common for them to regress in potty training. So with all of that said, she still sometimes even likes to wear underwear over her diapers. So I like to just, you know, have them in case she wants to. And I thought these were really cute. So I grabbed those. Moving on to Walmart. I did pick up two things that I absolutely love. I don't know if they have these in store, but I saw these in an Instagram ad and I died. Look at these wide like pants. These are like a knit sweater material. They have this cute little like elastic band waist, wide, wide kind of cropped leg. I absolutely loved this print, but I think they had three or four other prints and colors as well. And then this little cropped sweater to go with it. Are you kidding me? So stinking cute and the quality on these feels really, really good. And then I also found these pajamas on Walmart's website. It comes as a little uh, two set set. And one set has these little mushrooms on it. I love the colors on it. It's super soft, stretchy, uh, ribbed material. And then this set also comes with this pink ribbed set as well, which just looks so cute, so comfortable. The fabric of this, guys, is honestly so good. They had a boys set, which had like, like constellations on it. And then the rib set was a heather gray and I was obsessed. I actually ordered them for Knox while I got his wrong size. So I might reorder them. Um, I would say definitely size up. These are a 3T and I think they're going to be perfect on her. There's a big plane going over. I just recently got my Stanley and I'm obsessed. Like the hype is real. The hype is real. Next is H&M. I picked up some tights for her. I kind of pulled them out of the package because I wanted to see if they were going to be a good size. Actually. I'll show you guys what they look like. I loved these colors though. This like really soft pinky brown and then this cream color. These are so long. I feel like she's going to be wearing these for three years straight. These are super stretchy and they can get away with wearing them for a really long time. But I loved that they were ribbed. The quality is great and the colors are just like so on point. Next, I bought these for her actually like months ago. By the way, this was all purchased like in the past three months. This wasn't all at one time. These are in a size 3T. They're these little faux leather leggings from H&M. I've seen these a million times and they're always sold out. So when I saw them, I think it was back in like May, I knew I had to order them for her this fall. I will say they're not like crazy stretchy. Like they're kind of, I don't know. They're just not as stretchy as I expected them to be, but the quality feels nice. And I love the finish of them. I think with an oversized band tee, which I actually bought her one and it's in the wash, but I need to share it. Um, it's an oversized band sweatshirt. I'll pop a picture of her wearing it right here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw her wearing this. This sweatshirt was so flipping cute on here. We got so many compliments when we were out and about that day um, and people stopping her to like look at her sweatshirt. She absolutely loved it, but it's a little aggressive. Like I didn't guess I didn't realize how aggressive the uh, graphic on it was for a kid's shirt. Like I'm not sure if I'll send her to school in it because it might scare some children. <laughs> But it is really cute and I feel like it would look really cute with these leggings. So I also grabbed her this set. So it comes with these little ribbed leggings with these little tiny butterflies on them. I'm a sucker for like the ribbed leggings for girls. Anything ribbed, just in general, I love it. So I was attracted to these. And, and then this little oversized sweatshirt. Are you kidding me? With the same print on it. Oh, I just thought that was such an adorable little set. And something that's like super comfortable, practical, and that I can just see myself putting on her all the time. Also grabbed this dress for her. This, for example, like this was $9.99, guys, from H&M. I feel like that's so affordable. This at Target would be $18 at least. Like I'm pretty sure Oshkosh has similar dresses to this out right now, and they're literally $18.99. The quality of this is really good. I love the fabric. I love this little ruffle at the top. And the print is just absolutely adorable. And the back has these little like faux wooden buttons, which I just think is such a nice little touch. I mean, $10 for this I think is so great. And pair it with some of those little ribbed tights. I think that would be such a cute little look for Thanksgiving or school, whatever. But a casual look, I recently grabbed this for her. I just fell in love with this sweatshirt. I thought it was so cute. And I actually got this in a three to four T because again, love things oversized, but it says let it grow. And I just thought that was so cute. This is like so Ellie. She is very like quirky and spunky and I don't know I just saw this and I'm like that just reminds me of her so to go with this I got these little flare jeans oh my word I cannot with these um let me see I got these in a 3t which I'll probably regret because looking at them they look so stinking long 
So maybe I'll order her the 2T ones and then just keep these for like the springtime or next fall if that's when they fit. But yeah, I just thought these were so stinking cute. A couple of these H&M items were actually gifted to her for her birthday from um, one of our best friends. So this jacket was part of that gift and I just think this is so stinking cute. This like plum purple color. It's like a puffer jacket. So it's really great for winter. And I love the colors in the print. It's like a baby pink, a tan, and like a little bit of a mustardy brownish yellow really really cute and H&M I feel like has really nice jackets I've actually ordered quite a few of the kids jackets through H&M and we've always had like good luck with them this was also part of the gift that um, came from a friend I'm really hoping I can find all of this stuff online but but I think this little set is so cute it's like a little fleece set it's got um, like ruffles on the shoulders a little zip front really really nice quality honestly and I can see Ellie wearing this like if we go play out in the snow throwing this on like underneath of her snowsuit or something like I said because it gets so cold here so these little sweatpants um, come with it and it's just cozy and soft and I love that okay a few ribbed items that you need for your toddler guys I died when this stuff came in look at this little mock neck long sleeve are you kidding me how stinking cute and it's like the softest like nicest ribbed material i sized up in this i got a three to four t again because i like her stuff kind of long so she can wear it with leggings and a little denim jacket i just think this would be too stinking cute and it came as a set so it also came with a little black one and the mock neck it just gets me on her she's got a little bit of a mullet and with this little i'm like oh, i just can't Love these, the quality of these I was very, very impressed with, along with these two um, little matching sets. So this came as a set. So it was like a pack of four pieces. So the first color is this, again, that perfect like soft mauvey brown. I just think these are amazing. The quality and the weight of these guys is incredible. This would be such a nice gift for a toddler in your life. If you, again, want to um, start your Christmas shopping, I got these in a... 3T but the great thing about these the little adjustable waist which again you can get so much more wear out of these like I would imagine she'll be wearing these all the way through the spring and maybe even be able to wear them again next fall because they're super long um, and we'll just adjust the waist you know for now but anyway it comes with the pants a little ribbed shirt I just love the weight of these I wish I had this for myself and then this one with the print I am literally just obsessed it's like this cream color with this little rose like floral print on it how cute but check out the fabric it's just so lovely and then here's the little matching top that goes with it adorable another matching set that i got which i've purchased for her in the past she actually had this in a different colorway in size six to nine months which just makes me so sad because i remember her wearing this like it was yesterday and i guess it was just a lot longer ago than i remember but this cute little i don't know she doesn't wear it as pajamas and it might be pajamas but again the adjustable waistband stretchy little like ribbed material and these aren't as soft as these ones like these just feel above and beyond quality to me and these are just like these are nice these are nice don't get me wrong they're just not quite as nice as those but so so sweet a little button here on the back to help you get it on them and i just really loved this print i love little matching sets because that's what i put her in i think it's easy comfortable but it's also super cute and i always throw some type of jacket over the top and boots on and she looks like very styled but she feels like she's in her jammies. As part of her birthday gift, we also received this set of socks, which these are so cute. It's like the purple mauvey pink kind of brown color scheme, and they're super soft. I love that they're high. These will go really nicely with her boots. And then this was her probably her favorite thing that she got as part of that birthday gift is this little jacket. She actually wore it um, back when they gave it to us, which was in the middle of summer and she <laughs> wore it to bed and she did not take it off the next day. Like I, I don't know how she wore this in such warm weather, but she's obsessed, but it's really nice because the inside is like, has this lining in it and it's like a soft Jersey material on the inside. So very nice quality, super cute. Before I do Target, I just wanna mention these boots that I found at Marshalls. I know I can like something similar for you guys, whether it be on Amazon or something. I'll try to find 
this exact brand but good old pair of combat boots i always look for ones with like the chunkier bottom i just think they look trendier and it's just more like my style something i would wear more chunky bottom so i just thought these were really cute i'm hoping they fit her because these look kind of small um i did size up to a seven and she's normally a six right now so hopefully these fit but they're cute jumping into the target stuff i got her these pajamas i've actually picked up quite a few pairs of burt's bees jammies for both the kids this season because i feel like burt's bees has come out with some really cute prints um for like the snug fit long sleeves and that's what i look for this time of year and with the snug fit they can wear them for literally like two years in a row they last so long just because of the way they stretch and the way that they wash uh, i will say with burt's bees though is i don't usually order them offline because some of the stuff that i've gotten from them if i order online is so stiff i'm like i can't even believe i spent that amount of money on a pair of pajamas and it feels like cardboard like it's scratchy um so anyway obviously i'm irritated by it but i always like to buy them in store when i see them at target because they sell out fast and I need to feel them first. So I can assure you that these ones are soft, cute little print. It's like um, a space kind of theme with some fun colors, matching little pants. I grabbed these two ribbed long sleeves. These are like on the table at Target, like in the front usually of the kids section. And I always love like the ribbed t-shirts, but I feel like they don't always have cute prints. So when I saw these two, I'm like, yes, this is so Ellie. I like the little stripes. Again, leggings and boots, that's like how I style everything. But this one I also thought was cute too for it. And I love this. I think it has like a cute little floral print on it. Love the little ruffles on the shoulders. Those are very affordable too. They're like eight bucks a piece. And then one of my favorite items that I have picked up for her this fall or for the fall are these ribbed dresses from Target. So these are not only super affordable, they're $12, but this reminds me a lot of that super high quality um, set from H&M. It's just like a nice medium weight ribbed, stretchy, soft material. Like it feels really high quality. So I got her this blue one. I love the little ruffle shoulders and that little seam at the top so so cute also got it in this color as well which this color looks so amazing on her and this one has like a little bit of like a neon and white floral print on it but it's very subtle super cute let me see if i can give you a close-up on this fabric can you guys see like the ribbed oh, so nice speaking of ribbed i've shared i feel like i shared these somewhere maybe it was on instagram but I got her this little rib set. It's like a little peplum shirt, nice and stretchy, sized up to a 3T, and also in a 3T, the little matching leggings. These are like um, super buttery, soft, like cozy, cozy material. I got her two sets in different prints. So this is the same material, same size, and this one's just like a light blue with stars on it. That was really cute. And then something I wanted to buy for the kids last year, but didn't because it was $30 and I'm just like, I can't justify it because it's not like a winter jacket. It's kind of just like a fall cozy coat. Um, this Sherpa, I'm obsessed. I had to buy it for Ellie this year. There was just one hanging on the rack and I walked over and it happened to be her size. I'm like, that's my sign. I need to get it for her. But it's so stinking cute, guys. The quality, the thickness, like it's insanely thick. I love that it's like oversized and just like plushy cozy. The whole inside is this like plush material. So really, like I said, high quality. I like that it has like the sweatshirt kind of finish on the sleeve and it's got the two tone because it has the cream inside and then like the more tan color on the outside and it does button up the front. So you can close it if you want to, but I had to get it for her. Something else I grabbed from Target, I just thought this would be like a cute little school outfit for her. Um, it's light pink with kind of like an abstract heart design. And it's got this little tie at the waist. Speaking of a sweatshirt dress, so Ellie is obsessed with Yoda. We've never watched Star Wars. We've never watched anything with Yoda ever. Um, but she fell in love with like the stuffy. He's not in here right now, but she has a little stuffy and Kyle bought it for her. And it was like what she picked out when they were at the store together. And she's been obsessed with Yoda ever since. So I saw this dress at Target and I'm like, Elodie needs that. I thought this was cute. It's like a little fleecy sweatshirt dress. But I like that the colors were not obnoxious. Picky. And I like that this has like soft colors. Like from far away, you kind of can't tell. It just looks like a cute dress. And you're like, oh, that has Yoda on it. 
All right, and then two more matching sets. Well, one's pajamas, but I got this little floral long sleeve. Again, just easy to throw on her, size 3T, and the matching leggings, which I found like weeks later. I'm like, oh, they have matching leggings, which all about a matching set, so. Another pair of Burt's Bees pajamas. These, again, super soft, stretchy, sized up to a 3T. I love this print. It's like a really soft floral with mint and blush and a little bit of burgundy in there. Super cute. Adorable. Okay, and then next I got her two pairs of boots and I just can't. I was so worried that they were gonna sell out of these, so I bought these like over a month ago, um, but they're so sinking cute. I got these in a size six and that's her true size right now. How stinking cute are these? They're like little chunky Chelsea boots. I love the colors. This like cream matched with the taupe and it does have a little zipper on the inside so that you can easily get, you know, get their foot in and out. I like the little stretchy panel detail going on. I'm dead. She's gonna wear these a ton. I also got her these. I can't. Um, but these I feel like are literally the same size as these, if not even a little bit smaller when you're looking at like where their actual foot goes in the boot. So I sized up and got her these in a seven, but I just love the detailing on these. Got the cutest little like, oh my gosh, just all the details, so sweet with the cutest little heel, zip on the inside so it's easy to get them on. And I'm praying that these fit her. I have not tried these on her yet. She um, has like thicker legs. So a lot of times higher boots <laughs> don't fit her. Um, so I'm hoping her little leg goes in there. But guys, that is it for the haul portion of this video. I'm going to show you her armoire like really quick. And then I'm going to try to get, actually, I'm probably going to wash a lot of this. I'm going to start taking stuff out and getting the new stuff in and I'll just kind of film as I go. Okay, so really quick, this is where we keep all of her clothes. I already started taking stuff out. Um, but yeah, I bought this from Swap and Sell years ago before we had Knox. It was like um, a purchase that I made when I was pregnant for Knox because he had no closet in his room. Um, we recently switched out the knobs, which obviously I'm missing one, but this was like the best purchase. It was actually a TV stand and we just put a rod in it, like so easy and we turned it into a little armoire. So highly recommend looking for something like this if you are short on closet space. So this is what her situation is as of now. So let's tackle this. to get dark out because it's overcast rainy and it's like what time is it for 3 40 so I've been doing this for a couple hours um but I just wanted to kind of show you guys like how I actually put stuff in her drawers so in the bottom drawer I stick to pajamas all the way to the left using these little providers that I got from Amazon so they sorry that's kind of like not a pleasant sound but they adjust to your drawer length um, so you definitely want to pay attention to the size that you're getting because they do come in different sizes depending on your drawer. So they have like a maximum, um, length and then they have a minimum length that they adjust to. So just keep that in mind, but I'll link those for you guys. I'll link the ones that I have. I absolutely love them. I think that they do a really good job, um, dividing up these drawers and I like that they're like aesthetically pleasing 
as well per usual i like to roll her pajamas so i put them in a set like this and so take the shirt i fold it in half i line up the sleeve and then i fold that down so it's kind of in like a rectangular shape then i take the leggings fold them in half so then i take the shirt and i put the shoulder part up by the waistband of the pants like this and then i fold it right about here right where the shirt like ends i fold it and then roll it because that leaves the thickest and widest part of the fold on the outside whereas if you fold it from the waistband down you end up like it looks so much messier because this is like sticking out so yeah that's just what i like to do i fold it and then roll it so it looks nice and clean and they stay nice and neat that way and they stay with their like matching piece um for leggings i pretty much do the same thing fold them in half and then i fold them pretty much in half again almost it's like 90% all the way up and then I use the waistband and roll down I stick them in her drawer like that I don't mind this blanket situation I have going on this door keeps like slowly shutting and it was driving me nuts so I just did that to keep the door open but this is how it's looking everything fits and I actually still have some space for a little bit more I don't allow myself to buy the kids more than what will fit in their closet like I refuse to buy more hangers so if I don't have hangers, I either have to get rid of something to in order to like put something new in here or I'm done buying for the season because this is plenty. Um, so this is like all of her school clothes, her sweatshirts. So I have like short sleeve t-shirts that move into long sleeve t-shirts and tops, blouses. And then I have all of her sweatshirts here. That way it's kind of like a gradual length change. Um, so then I have her dresses, again, from tank top, short sleeve to long sleeve. I kept a few like short sleeve dresses um, just in case it does, like we have a warm day or whatever. But also I feel like these ones you can layer up with a denim jacket and leggings. Um, these you can pair with like a long sleeve underneath. Those two were thrifted dresses that I got. That's why I didn't share them in today's video but yeah they were thrifted so um, I couldn't link them for you guys but anyway dresses short sleeve to long sleeve and then all the cozies the throwovers the zips um, cardigans and like lighter weight Sherpa jackets and all the other jackets I put down here two of these are hand-me-downs and then I have that one I shared in today's video so I just kind of threw those down there for now these are her pajamas so it does give me a good idea of like how many pajamas she has I'm probably good, but I do have room if I see like another pair or two that I really love, I have room to put them in there. Oh, before I forget, um, I did just roll her underwear and put them in this little basket, which I just thought was cute. Um, this is the second drawer in the rest of her clothes. So I did throw two pairs of jeans in the wash that need to be washed. So anyway, over here, like I had said before, flare pants or like anything that's like a pant but not a legging. Um, and then I have her two pairs of tights here, all of her socks, biker shorts, the little um, onesies. And then since this is kind of more of like a specialty outfit, like I feel like she's only going to wear that um, like certain times when it's, like I said, really cold. I match that up together, the little pants and the zip. So I just put that there. And then all of her leggings are here, which actually fit perfectly. I do not need to be buying any more leggings. She should be good for the season. So that is how it all came out. Okay guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what else you would like to see as far as like fall content. Um, I would love to do this for Knox, but unfortunately, I haven't bought him nearly as much as I have L because one, he fits into most of his stuff from last year. He's only really grown taller and a lot of his stuff last year was super long for him. So it worked out. He's going to be wearing a lot of what he wore last year. Um, and I've only bought like a few little pieces here and there. Definitely not enough to make like a whole video like I did with this one. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see. I love you all. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I love